Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. Turkish forces engaged in Operation Olive Branch against Kurdish militias in the northwest of Syria have used gas, a Syrian state media SANA reports. At least six civilians have been hospitalized. Six people have been admitted with symptoms of suffocation as a result of the use of projectiles with poisonous gas by the Turkish regime in the town of Aranda. SANA quotes the hospital's director, Joan Mohammed. Medics are working to determine the type of gas used, Mohammed said. Now, an unnamed Turkish diplomatic source denied Turkey ever used chemical weapons in its operations in Syria, telling Reuters the accusation is baseless and propaganda. Turkey never used chemical weapons. We take utmost care about civilians in Operation Olive Branch, the source said. Now, local journalist Mohammed Hassan tweeted pictures of patients who were purported to be victims of the attack wearing breathing masks, and you can see them right there, ladies and gentlemen. The hospital director said four of the victims were stable and two were in critical condition. So, uh, did Turkey use some manner of toxic gas in this battle with uh, the Kurds, the YPG Kurds? This is uh, something that certainly, if this, if this is true, um, this could, could and will certainly escalate uh, other, uh, other more vicious battling in that area. I will say that. This could, this could certainly be a tipping point for a greater conflict, folks. I will leave you a link to this. I would ask you, please to uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if you feel so led to. And folks, there's four links below I would ask you to check out if you would. Um, there's a link to my fiction books. There's a link to a free read of chapter one of my latest fiction book, uh, which is called Fortress of Wayfarer's Story, available in Kindle Land paperback. There is a link to some music of mine and to a PayPal page if you want to buy me a cup of coffee give me a tip or some such thing. Folks, I appreciate you very much, and I want to remind you that these are perilous times within this maelstrom that we are living, but do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.